Yeah, this recording. Okay, so today's speaker is Dropping One, who's a often research fellow at the University of Cambridge. He's a postdoctoral student working with Emily Shakura. He works with people in computer science and the Jack Business School and explore the application of AI technologies to planet risk that I've mentioned before we talk about today. He also works with the Center for Planet Engagement in Hughes Hall and the World Economic Forum to bring knowledge and planet with global climate governance, policymakers, stakeholders, and the general public. So uh, thanks so much for giving us the talk, Jopin, and your call yours. Yeah, thank, thank you, Kim. Thank you, Aaron. Um, uh, uh, accompanied with your delicious meal, I <laughs> have your staff the, um, presentation here. And uh, today I will talk, uh, I have a uh, uh, ec economic background. So uh, it's, it, it, it's uh, uh, this talk is, uh, uh, I will uh, talk about uh, some mo uh, a model which uh, uh, combine uh, AI and, uh, and uh, economic modeling together and to help uh, make a, a accurate uh, climate risk assessment to our economic systems. Okay, thank you. Um, so um, before we start, I will uh, give a, give a uh, non-professional um, uh, introduction because uh, we uh, have a multiple discipline and so um so assume that uh uh now you are uh a um, chancellor of uh, um x x x uh x you are chancellor for the pre minister and uh, now uh the pre minister asks you um which policies or what policies can help achieve carbon and neutrality goals, and uh, how will um, will you answer? Mm -hmm. uh, you will say, hey, oh, "Oh wow, it's it's too it's too big this program. I can't mm -hmm. answer on it." And maybe you have some uh, uh, direct ideas. For um, for example, you may say, "Ban fossil fuels now. Everyone cannot use fossil fuels. Have it works this policy." Yeah, it, it works. No, no carbon emission, but how uh, we uh, we can install a, a large number of carbon uh, sequestration equipments. It also works, but its social cost is too much, and uh, your prime minister will not allow this this policy because, right? So. So the, the, the next question is which policies can help achieve the net zero goal at a low, lowest cost, social cost, um, based on the situation now. So maybe we, we uh, uh, maybe we can refer to history uh, 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 experience, but uh, 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 on this question, we do not have uh, much uh, 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 knowledge, uh, history knowledge to 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 refer, and um, and another uh, uh, solution is to uh, to do performance assessment for potential policies. We can design some uh, potential policies, and we do we assess its performance for for, uh, for economic growth inequality. And uh, and uh, yeah, risk adaptation. Thing. So th this is a, a a a good direction maybe. And uh, and the next question is how to quantify the performance of a low carbon policy. How how to how to um quantify these things. And and uh, maybe the direct thought is social experiment. As as experiment from nature, we can control other variables, or we can uh, do uh, apply the policy in some of the area uh, economy, or and uh, do not apply this policy on different area areas, and then compare the difference. This is a social experiment, but it uh, this one is is um is maybe uh, more um accurate 
but it, it costs us much. It also has some uh, aesthetic issues, I think. So uh, the finally solution is a system evaluation or simulation. Yeah, we simulation our designed policies and to find out is, is, is this work well for us. So uh, yeah, this is, we need a model uh, to do th these things. Uh, and, and no, I think, I think you know, uh, based on this uh, uh, short introduction, you know, uh, what's the model I want to talk about is uh, it, it can simulate our social, uh, social systems, um, um, not only a, a reduced form, um, reduced form um, model, it must systematically um, um, capture the, the impacts of the policy systematically, yeah. So uh, what's the current purchase? Uh, uh, now, uh, uh, the first one is analysis based on micro data size. Um, maybe you will say, uh, I can um, collect all, uh, all information from uh, different plants uh, all over the world. Uh, the information uh, include um, um, the input and the good outputs, bad outputs of our plant, uh, for example, power generation plant or chemical plant, uh, refinery plant, right? And uh, we we uh, we can also uh, collect their age, their cost, their cost cost curve. Uh, each plant um, use one type of technology or technology mix. Uh, to produce, um, if we have the, the we have all uh, information for for all these plants, we can do a uh, um, uh, comprehensive uh, analysis um, uh, for um, for 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 policy shock. Uh, for example, if if we apply, uh, we apply a carbon taxi um, on fossil fuels, um, and uh, this policy will increase the the cost of fossil fuels, um, and then um, uh, different plants have different um, technology or equip equipment or cost curves. Uh, this increase, uh, this increase of uh, fossil uh, fuel, uh, uh, will will um, will clear some or some uh, plants out, or make some plants um, uh, cannot operating well because the cost increase too much, but. If a plant use a uh, green power, their cost will not increase, right? So if we have all uh, information about all plants all over the world, we can do this uh, analysis. Uh, I, give, I give an example here. It's, uh, this is the uh, world refinery data. Uh, we collect all over uh, um, all refinery uh, facet uh, plant all over the world and uh, uh, we have uh, we, we know uh, their age, uh, what equip what type of equipment they use, and uh, their uh, production capacity, and uh, yeah, uh, all of this. And uh, with this information, we can do we can we can calculate um, how many uh, carbon emissions. Um, are committed in the future. That is, some new um, constructed uh, refineries, um, they will operate for, 
for their lifetime, maybe to uh, 2035 or, or long. So their emission is, um, is committed. Or, um, how to say? Uh, yeah. Uh, so we, we we can with this information we can we can um, uh, assess as a future um, uh, emission pathway and uh, and how policy uh, impact uh, uh, which part of the refinery plants. Yeah. Um. It is um. Yeah. It's it's good, uh, but. <laughs> This type of uh, um, assessment model uh, are called a uh, uh, bottom-up uh, assessment, and uh, they have a, a problem. Uh, I will say, uh, when we <clears throat> when we uh, calculate uh, something about the refinery database, for example, we do not consider. It's a uh, uh, supply chain. It's a uh, upstream or downstream uh, supply chain. So if we say that in the future the refinery plant will produce uh, um, maybe one ton or oil use, but uh, one policy, uh, one low carbon policy such as carbon taxi will not only impact uh, it directly the uh, the policy may uh, impact the refinery sector indirectly for example uh, a low carbon policy may uh, impact the chemical sector they will they may want to change uh, change change their um, suppliers uh, or uh, change to low carbon uh, Mm, suppliers, so the so so the policy have 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 both direct and indirect impact uh, to to uh, individual or micro plants. Um, uh, we uh, use the bottom up approach. We can only um, get the capture the direct. Impact, uh, but we cannot uh, get the indirect <coughs> impact. Um, so in, in, in short, um, the bottom-up approach uh, have uh, have some advantages or data advantages. The advantages is uh, it's uh, it's uh, give a detailed representation of individual heterogeneities. For example, their age, their technology type, their input output. Um, and it's suitable to identify technical options and the associated investment because it's, it's uh, directly uh, to um, we, we directly analysis the the macro level uh, data right and uh, but it have a, a major disadvantage as uh, it's limited uh, it have limited information on interaction between sectors. Uh, so we cannot catch the indirect impact, and uh, it will lead to a biased assessment. Mm -hmm. And uh, the next approach is um, uh, is uh, the uh, 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 aggregate aggregate model. Um, now, um, uh, in this figure, uh, one point uh, represents the uh, industrial sector. And uh, the the link uh, between them is the trade linkage. Uh, for example, uh, the oil uh, uh, sector and the power generation uh, chemical sector they trade to each other. Um, uh, keep in mind this point is not a plant; it's not a micro in or individual um, uh, data. It's, it's a aggregate sectors, and uh, we. Um, we uh we have this type of data. Uh, it's called the uh, input output table. That is, 
uh, in this table, um, uh, each row and each uh, column um, here, uh, it represents a, a, a sector in our uh, eco economy, uh, agriculture, meaning our construction, manufacturing. Um, each, each row uh, represents how agriculture products are used by different sectors. Um, and each column uh, means how, um, uh, how, uh, how, how this sector uh, uh, consume uh, other sectors products to produce. So this is a network, right? So um, with, with this data and, uh, uh, and the general equilibrium uh, economic series, we can build a um, aggregated model such as the uh, computable general equilibrium model. Uh, this type of model are used uh, are widely used uh, in uh, uh, cur current um, um, integrated assessment model. Um, in this type of model, uh, we borrow some uh, economic series. For example, uh, each producer it's a, a it's a economic sectors. They want to uh, maximize their profit, right? They, uh, and uh, and the consumers. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, uh, the households, uh, investment sectors, and uh, and uh, um, yeah, governments. They are consumers. They want to maximize their utilities. So with, with this two uh, agents uh, in this model, and uh, the the um, uh, and also uh, they have a market, and the market forms the price. Prices will adjust based on on the supply is producers supply and the demand the consumers demand they uh, they will um, maybe uh, shift and the if the supply is is bigger than uh, demand the price will um, will will decrease and uh, and if the demand is uh, higher than um, supply, and then the price, the price of commodity will 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 increase, and and the demand and the supply will uh, will uh, will converge uh, after the 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 adjustment of the price. So our market will clear then. So um, this is the mechanism. In, in the in the in the macro level or aggregate model, um, yeah, th this uh, this uh, good representation of the uh, of the uh, real world, I think, uh, uh, profit maximization, utility maximization, and uh, and the ma and the, and the general equilibrium state. So <laughs> it's good, but it also have some. Uh, um uh, fit, uh, uh, four packs. Um, uh, because we aggregate uh, all plants in one sector uh, uh, same, same type of plants in one sector so we we neglect its uh, heterogeneity that that is um for for example um um the, the um uh, the Toyota um, use one uh, very unique uh, color materials uh, produced uh, in Japan. And uh, when the great uh, earthquake um, uh, er, uh, um, struck the Japan on uh, 2011, and the the uh, the material uh, the color material uh, producer was was destroyed, and the the Toyota um, are forced to stop this type of car. Uh, this this type uh, the stop pro production of this type of car. So uh, and uh, after nine months, they find a uh, 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 alternative uh, to to this one. But when we, uh, if we uh, aggregate all uh, color material producer in one sector, we will um, neg uh, 
ignore the 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 the, the heterogeneity and we will um um when when Toyota lost this unique this uh this supplier they, they can change um very easily but the reality is not this so so uh this figure shows a, a simulation uh, with uh, with IO. IO is a, mm -hmm. also an aggregation model and other model, uh, other uh, micro level models. So the IO model uh, uh, give out a very slightly um, losses in the in the in the earthquake shock, but uh, the real uh, shock, uh, the, the real impact is very large. So the uh, great, um, the the biggest problem of the aggregate model is uh, is a uh, is a uh, is a uh, is a uh, ignore the heterogeneity. So it plays over overly optim optimistic assumptions about the flag uh, flexibility of the economy system. So such models tend to under uh, estimate the impact of policies. So. Yeah, this is yeah. It it also have some advantages. Like it's have a uh, it's based on reliable economic theories. That is the maxim maxim uh, maximization of a utility and uh, and uh, and uh, a profit, and uh, it it can get the indirect linkages between each sectors, but it neglects the heterogeneity. Now. Um, Based on these two type of uh, um, uh, approaches, maybe you have a, a natural idea now. Uh, why we not uh, collect this type of data? That is, um, uh, we we now each plant uh, form a row and a column in this in this table, and uh, each plant connect to each others. With, if we collect this type of data and apply the uh, macro level model to this macro level um, table, and we, we can do a perfect assessment now. Um, yeah, it, it, yeah, it's theoretically, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's okay. But in practice, uh, uh, no. Uh, it's uh, have a lot of difficulties. Uh, the 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 biggest tool is uh, the first one is the data availability, <clears throat> global uh, global facility level or plant level supply chain data sets are not available, uh, and uh, it's it's a uh, secret data maybe for some companies. Uh, what's my suppliers and my clients? I, I will talk, not share with others. And uh, so it's it's, unlike, it's it's unlikely that such data will be collected in the uh, foreseeable future. This is a data availability problem. And the second thing is a uh, uh, is a computing computing uh, issue. Um, uh, the the model here show show here. Um, <clears throat> it is a general equilibrium model. It's a large nonlinear optimization problem. Um, so it's hard to solve uh, in in this. Um, I I don't know. I, does someone do this type of uh, nonlinear optimization? It's hard to solve, and existing nonlinear solver cannot solve very large uh, problems in limited time. Um, it's it's not my fault. It's not it's not because uh, it's not co uh, caused by by the the. Uh, this computer. <laughs> this is a uh, many large integrated assessment models. Uh, only can only contain limited region uh, or sec and sectors. So, for example, some IAMs managed by YASA or World Bank. They also contain only uh, limited sectors, regions, world regions. Yeah. And and. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, also, uh, here uh, have uh, the last one, uh, uh, a last uh, try. Maybe uh, uh, is the soft link solution. That is, we uh, we run uh, the macro level model and the micro level model 
uh, separately. That is, we have uh, we have uh, uh, all data for the uh, um, for the energy sector, and we build a, a micro level data uh, model, and uh, we have the the sector linkage, uh, and we build a macro level uh, model. And we run this type, of, uh, these two model uh, separately, and uh, and and then uh, we um, uh, uh, we run this first, and uh, their out its output will feed in the macro level model, and uh, and the macro level uh, and then run macro level model. It will feed back to the micro level, and uh, uh, with uh, many run of uh, iteration iteration and uh, and this will be this two type of model will converge or align uh, the same so, so same so i have a question <clears throat> so when, when you see the synapses or this shared social economic pathway model are they, what kind of model are, they, are those this kind of one yeah yes so cmap is all this is the cmap is it a soft link or is it a macro only uh, so it makes it, it's a uh, 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 the SSP you say uh, yeah. uh, it's a uh, 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 produced by uh, different type of models. Some are uh, top down models and some are uh, bottom up models. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I I introduce these two type of models. Right. Before. Um, oh, they're not. Okay. Yeah, and. And uh, now, finally, uh, my solution here is um, I, I want to introduce uh, agent-based modeling. Uh, yeah, we have two type of information: the macro, uh, the macro uh, linkage data, and uh, we we also have some individual data. But th these individual data are not linked to each other, and how we can uh, um, Combine these two. I uh the first step, I build a um a, fr a framework that, that which have a macro environment but with macro agents. So um so for the individual type data, we we only uh they they, they only have have the info, uh, we only have the information for 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 each one. And for the macro uh, level uh, model, we 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 know uh, how e how how each sector linked to each other, and uh, in, in my uh, <clears throat> and now um, we we want two two type of data to work together. Uh, how can we do? Now I. Um, I do not uh, try to link individual uh, to to each other by collect data, but we we can uh, form a market um, in uh, between them, and uh, each individual will trade on the market. Um, they they not trade with with other other. Uh, but this market will collect the the supply and the demand uh, from different individuals, and uh, and then they will distribute um, the the goods or products mm -hmm. to each individuals now. So, uh, by in this framework, uh, the um, the mark the market information we we borrowed from from uh, the this this one and uh, the individual information we borrowed uh, from this one. So uh, this uh, yeah. Um, so in in this type of uh, framework, um, the macro market will collect, uh, collect supply and demand of uh, micro individuals and this distributing goods based on demand and adjust prices um, as um, as in the macro level um, model. And uh, 
for the micro individuals, uh, they uh, also worked as a, a um, worked as a, um, a reasonable uh, economic agents. Um, yeah, producers will uh, maximize their pro profits, and uh, uh, consumers okay. will uh, want to ma maximize their utility. Um, based on these simple uh, principles, they will make decisions under the macro environment, that is the, the market price or the supply and the demand, total supply and total demand. And, and then uh, how we, uh, uh, how, how can we reach the uh, general equilibrium in this framework? Um, as I say, uh, the nonlinear programming is uh, is very hard to to solve. Uh, now I I want to use uh, the uh, reinforcement learning to uh, to make the individuals or uh, micro individuals uh, have a reasonable um, um, behavior uh, in this model uh, after after uh, um, a multi round learning. Um, so, uh, so, so, uh, if we use, um, if we use nonlinear programming, we, we need to form uh, a lot of equations and, uh, and, uh, so this, this equation system where all agents will reach the optimal, optim optimal decision simultaneously, um, but uh, in the learning, in the um, but if we use learning, uh, each agents do not um, uh, do not rely on optim optimization behavior. It's uh, it's just want to to get a um, good reward and uh, at each uh, at 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 each uh, time step and. Uh, and they uh, they will learn uh, how to how to uh, optimize their uh, rewards uh, after many round action and uh, and the learning um, process. So we um, yeah. So in individuals will act. Uh, acquire the ability to choose uh, correct actions um, without optimization, without so so uh, so uh, optimization problems. Now, um, so in this uh, so in, in this uh, framework, uh, under this framework, uh, we can consider the heterogeneity and the linkage constraints simultaneously both both type of models uh, advantage will will uh joint and uh, and also in this type of uh, in the uh, in this way we uh, parallel parallel computing is uh, is also allowed um because uh um yeah um and uh, there, uh, it also have some uh, additional um, advantages. For example, uh, the agents uh, uh, will learn uh, reasonable behaviors uh, based on very uh, simple uh, assumptions. So th this can help avoid uh, help to avoid the the risk of mis misclassification because uh, if we Assume uh, assume the uh, we uh, specific the behavior function of consumers or producers. They may not work uh, uh, like like that. So this is uh, may may lead to mis specification uh, risks, and and also uh, when the environment change uh, largely. Uh, if we uh, just specific the behavior function, so their behaviors will not change. But in this, uh, in this, uh, in this solution, in my solution, uh, the uh, new behavior 
uh, behavioral patterns may be learned when the environmental change change largely. Um, that mm -hmm. is uh, in, in real, uh, uh, if, if the, the energy price change uh, largely or, or the, the economic or technology change largely, um, um, the, uh, the agents in my model, it, it, their behavior may also, uh, it, it, there may, uh, will uh, emerge some uh, new behavior uh, in my model uh, because uh, it's based on learning. And uh, if we uh, use the traditional type or we specific some uh, behavioral functions, it will keep, 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 uh, keep that. So yeah, thank you. <laughs> it's uh, some ideas uh, today I want to share. Yeah. Um, I, I want to, have, uh, it, it, this model are uh, under uh, develop and uh, I want to uh, uh, have your uh, feedbacks and, uh, and yeah, thank you. Yes. You have, I have a question on the assumption for agents. So here, what I understood is the agent has an access to complete or perfect information of risk, which I don't believe is a true case of the reality of the economic modeling. Is it possible mm -hmm. to consider like providing that those of information accessible to the agent? So that when he decides something, mm -hmm. not only on the perfect information available, but also the like new question. Because I'm not sure if agents ideally can have all the information ready. Yeah. Happens. Yeah, very good question. Um, I also consider this 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 uh type of uh in the in a long-term model, I think we can assume a uh, common knowledge. Uh that is all. Agents know our our environmental our, our information from the macro environments, uh, because uh, in a long term simulation we we can uh, adjust or we can get the information um, gradually maybe, uh, and uh, if we uh, we do some uh, um, short term simulation, for example, a uh, earthquake. And all some uh, climate risk uh, goes into the system, and uh, different agents have different informations. I think so. Maybe um, uh, so. Uh, some some papers assume uh, the the agents only get no informations for their supplier and their climate. Yeah, and uh, and see how different information that will 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 change the, the <laughs> results. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yes. Uh, listening to your questions, so how is the reward function designed? Is it based on any assumption of the current carbon policies or more reinforcing learning policies? How is the reward function? Ah, uh, I. The reward function is is not actually it's not uh, related to the policy. I think it, it's uh, this system is uh, want to uh, want to si to simulate the the behavior uh, of uh, consumers and uh, producers. So they they want to uh, they want to maximize their profit for firms and. Uh, and uh, to maximize their utility for 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 consumers, and uh, the policy comes, it changes the environment, and uh, and uh, and uh, and then, uh, for example, change the prices, and then the the behavior will change. Uh, uh, the the behavior of the producers and consumers will change accordingly. So that the reward is a price of profit. Uh, profit or utility. So yeah, thank you. Any other So let me ask a question. I mean, how do you know you're right? I mean, you can simulate all sorts of things with what you have. It's essentially unconstrained. So how do you how do you validate that your model 
is happy with it. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's a very hard problem. <laughs> yeah, and uh, someone I I showed this this slide. Um, uh, we uh for historic uh, uh history uh, events, for example, the the earthquake in yeah. in, in, in Japan. Uh, the points here is the is the real uh economic dynamics, um, uh in Japan, and uh, and uh, yeah, and uh, they they have some model simulation with us, so uh maybe we can only, only uh. Well, I can't see the the actual value. Which color is that? Is the uh, the points the big points? Oh, yeah, it's yeah. Point the line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is a zero. So none of the models seem to be matching the reality, right? Um, <laughs> in the economic simulation, I think uh, this one if it's, uh, yeah, so fits very well. This one, I can't see your mouse on the screen. So which one? You mean the purple one? Uh, it's uh, the uh, degree preserving. Yeah. So that one is supposed to be the best one. Yeah, I think this is the best one. There's a 10 percent. Overshoot right here, right? Yeah. There's a question like long term, they do kind of converge, although they, they do have some effects of them, but not strongly. So, yeah, you it's can, very hard. You, you but can fit any number of curves through those points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you know, uh, uh, in this stage, uh, a lot of macro level uh, models, such as uh, um, uh, in, uh, such integrated assessment model, there we do that maybe maybe this one. Okay. This. The, green one. Green the, the green one. Yeah. The green one. So it's <laughs> green one. yeah. So uh, I, I worked with ABMs in agent based models some years ago. And the more I worked with them, the more depressed I got because there's so many parameters. They went uh, as many yeah. parameters as deep learning. And they don't have that propagation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yes. I yes, that's it why I um yeah, this is a problem. I, I want to uh, uh, apply more uh, economic theories mm. to constrain the okay. the the behavior of the agents. So maybe it's um, more well. Any other? So does the reward function of the agents, which would be the micro level, right? Then like is based on the macro level. Uh, yeah, based. Uh, it makes a decision and it's evaluated on the macro level, and then it feeds back into them. Based on the macro uh, environments. Yeah. Um, but each each agent will uh, um, yeah, will try to maximize their 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 utility mm. separately. So this uh, uh this distributed. Uh, uh, equilibrium yeah. in, in the, in the, yeah. Okay, I think there are those who will learn the first one, so let's thank that for that. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, two things. First, uh, there's probably some food still left, so on your way out, if there's some food, take it.